advice would you give people who think that they might be interested in international ministry someday? Well, we definitely, I would say you definitely pray about it. Mm -hmm. Talk to family and friends and, and we talk to the pastors at church and people just kind of, so this is what we're thinking about, like, what do you think? Do you think it would fit us? Do you think it would match our gifts and things? And I think that was a good starting point for affirmation. We got the affirmation from people. Mm -hmm. Even though some people were like, wow, that's you know, kind of a big deal, leading for three years. Mm -hmm. But they never, it was never like questioning, like, well, I don't know if you're gifted in that way. I don't know if if you have what it takes. I don't know. I'm not sure if anyone would say that, but what do you think? Yeah, I think trust God and trust yourself. And if, um, if you feel like the answer is yes, then go. Because like I think I was saying earlier, we, we've just, we've heard, since we've been telling people that we're going, we heard so many people say, oh, you know, I always wanted to do international ministry, or I always thought I would spend some time doing something like this, but then, you know, life got in the way. And I think that life could always get in the way. Um, and even though, you know, there could be a million reasons not to go. Maybe you could think, oh, it doesn't make sense now, or with this going on, or that going on. Um, I just think that we would would be sorry in 10 or 20 or 30 years if we hadn't done this. Um, so, so if you feel like there's the call and there's the opportunity, I think seize it. Um, because there is um, so much more we, we just feel like our doors have just been opened and we feel now so excited to see this new step in our life and this new opportunity and um, see the church in a new place and in a new way. Um, yeah, and then to think about how that might shape the rest of our lives is also really exciting. Um, so yeah, I would just encourage people to think, think seriously and pray and discern with your community um, but to not be afraid to take the leap of faith. Because I think um, that when you're going with a good organization, um, that there's a community on the other side waiting to catch you and waiting to welcome you and waiting to, um, yeah, to help you take this new step and, um, and walk with them. I would say also to speak to people who have done it before, to, to take the counsel from those people mm -hmm almost a little bit heavier than maybe than people who haven't, a little bit more seriously, because you can, I think you can learn a lot from people who have done types of ministry or service like this, and hear their excitement, and they can be open and honest about the difficulties and the, the fears that will come along with it. But then you can kind of, we have never once spoken to someone who's done service, especially like a, or an extended amount of time overseas, and then said to us, oh, we wish we wouldn't have done it. Like, it didn't really work out. Like, and maybe there are some people like that in the world, but we've spoken to a lot, and they've all spoken with, like, they're glad they did it, and it shaped them in a healthy way, and they've learned things about themselves and helped them for their future vocation. And mm -hmm. So we just feel like by speaking to people like that, it helps us kind of get ready. And the reality is that you can you can certainly serve God um, and, and fulfill a call and a need in your home community. You can... Certainly, certainly do that, and we don't want to take away from that in saying that you should go. Um, but I think that, you know, not everyone is called to international service or mission work. Um, and so if you feel that in your heart, um, or if you feel like you've had that kind of voice in your ear, um, then I think that that is unique and it's special and you should listen to it. Mm -hmm.